confusion when you feel confused. Hello, y'all. I'm Diana Brianne. I don't give advice, suggestions, information, recommendations. I just share with you my perspective on different topics as is with this one. I hope you like, share, subscribe to all five of my channels. Links are pinned at the top of the comment section below. If you connect with me, I will likely connect with you with all five. Well, what happens when you're confused? Well, there's so much confusion going on right now. You know, there's a lot of current topics out right now, and we all know what we're talking about, that people feel confused. They feel ambivalent. They're not sure. They're not sure what decision to make. When we feel confused, it's often someone purposefully trying to confuse us. I always call confusion a smokescreen. It prevents us from seeing what's really out there. Sometimes when we feel confused, it can involve someone who's trying to confuse us for their own agenda, especially if they want us to do something um, that we feel confused about or conflicted about or ambivalent about. For me personally, if I'm confused, ambivalent, um, I tend to step back. I reassess. I look at the people that are confusing me or the information that's confusing me or the situation that's confusing me. And I tend not to move forward with any kind of decision until I've sifted through all of that information and found the accurate information that I was looking for. But often people don't want another person to find the accurate information for if they find the truth, if they find the accuracy, well, then, you know, you probably are not going to do what they want you to do if they are trying to confuse you. Confusion is everywhere in life. It's, it can be in personal relationships. It can be in professional relationships. It can be in financial relationships. And it can be in the bigger picture of life. Okay, so if you feel confused, if you feel ambivalent, sort through things, find the right information, take your time in assessing. Because often when people feel confused and they've acted upon that confused information, often it, it almost immediately they re regret having done so. They realize that they acted foolishly by not waiting and gathering the right information. Now, I know that there are times in life that we have to act quickly. I got that. And then we can look back in hindsight and say, I would have done things differently. I'm not talking about those kinds of things. Okay. I'm talking about where we have time to make a decision, to make an accurate decision. And yet we feel pressure, pressure from others. Maybe those that we love. Maybe those that we're friends with. Maybe those that we're acquaintances with. Maybe other kinds of pressure. And we feel like, well, we're going to buckle in and do what they say. Okay. Well, for me personally, I don't buckle. Okay. I make sure that I'm making right decisions and right decisions tend to come with right information. Okay. I want to make right decisions. I want to make right choices. And if I feel pressured into something, often it's not the right decision. Okay, and so I believe in gathering facts. I believe in gathering information, but not just someone who tells me that they're facts, but actual real facts. I want to know the real truth. Okay, so I believe that often when we feel confused, it can be a smoke screen. From my house to yours, may God bless you. I hope you like, share, subscribe to all five of my channels. Links are pinned at the top of the comment section below. If you connect with me, I will likely connect with you as well. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.